Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and I'm going to be showing you how you can set automated SharePoint history version control limits. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is because you might have found actually that you're hitting thresholds of storage capacity on a particular SharePoint site. You might have identified um, that, that one particular SharePoint site is using up a lot of storage space and you're needing to control um, that by reducing the amount of versions on a SharePoint site library. Um, to get to this setting, um, you're going to need to get to the SharePoint Admin Center. So from office.com, we can click on the Admin button here. This is going to take us to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Click on Show All, click on SharePoint, and this is going to take us to the SharePoint Admin Center. Now, again, I should say, the reason why we would probably want to do this is because if we've identified there's a SharePoint site which has got really high SharePoint storage. So it might be, say, for example, under active sites here, we've looked at um, a SharePoint site and found a particular SharePoint site. It's got a lot of storage space. Obviously, this is just a test, so it doesn't have that. And we've identified, actually, there's documents on there which have got, say, 500 versions for each document. And that's using up all the storage space of this particular SharePoint site and potentially affecting all the storage availability of our total SharePoint sites combined. We might need to start locking that down and we want to blanket roll out to all SharePoint sites, not just the one, um, the version control. Now, you can do it just to one specific site if you wanted to. Um, so I'm going to show you that first and then I'm going to show you how we can automatically apply it to all of the SharePoint sites. So if it was just one SharePoint site, if I go to that SharePoint site and then I click on the cog across the top right hand corner once it loads, um, so I can get to this site contents. So I click on the cog, click on site contents. That's going to show me all the document libraries on this specific site. So if it was just one specific site, which we're having a problem with, we can just enable it on the one site. Um, but again, I'm going to show you how we do it on all sites afterwards. So by clicking on the documents uh, library, or by clicking on three dots here and then clicking on settings, um, we can then navigate to the document library settings in, in here and click on version settings. This is where we can then see the version settings for this, this one document library. So you can see a creator version each time um, I'm editing a file in this document library. So it could be create major versions, or uh, worst case is that it's creating major and minor versions. So it's, it's saving a lot. Then we can see how many of the major versions or the mi uh, major and minor versions are being saved. So it could be 100, it could be 500, it could be totally it could be a huge number that we're saving but to give you a bit of context to this imagine if you've got one file which is um stored in your your document library if you have a hundred versions major versions saved that whatever the size of that file is times that by 100 and that's how much storage space that one file is actually using so that's why we need to make sure that this is quite a low number and we can change this if we wanted to so if this is this was just one library that was affecting us even if we just change that to 50 major versions, we've now halved the amount of storage space that this document library is uh, going to be using. And then by clicking on OK, that will save that library uh, settings and it's enabled just for that one document library. But let's go back now into the SharePoint Admin Center. And this time, let's look at how we enable this for all of our SharePoint sites. To do this, we're going to click on the Settings tab on the left-hand side of the SharePoint Admin Center. And then you'll see here we have Version History Limits. So by selecting on that, you can then see um, we, we have a few options here. Now, there is a new feature which is Automatic. So this is where we can enable Automatically Optimize Storage using an intelligent algorithm to store versions based on creation date. So you can learn more about this. If you want to dig into a little bit more about this and the kind of black magic which is making it work, you can see here this page will give you all the information you need about sort of version storage behavior, the scenarios, how the version trimming behavior is going to operate. And it's going to give you a lot more information about how all of this comes together. So maybe have a little look through all of this before you enable that. But for a lot of organizations, this is going to save you so much SharePoint administration time because it's going to automatically calculate using very clever, intelligent algorithms what the version control should be for each individual SharePoint site. So that's how you could automatically set it. 
we could also put manual so if we did we didn't necessarily want to just have something automatically calculating it for us we wanted to have it very specific we can set manually and this means that the versions are deleted when a set number of a set number or time limits are exceeded so you can say number of major versions so maybe we could say there's 50 um or actually it's not going to like that we're going to say 100 um and the time so we delete versions after this period of time so we could say after a year let's get rid of those versions so we we're not needing to keep versions of documents for more than a year in this scenario and we could set it here um of course <clears throat> you can make that a little bit more specific so if it's three months six months one year never or you could have a custom range as well so say for example um if you wanted to make sure things are kept for two years or maybe um you've got a lot of financial information so you've got to keep it for seven years you can specify that time limit as well using the version history limits here but i'd say i would have a little investigate into this automatic limits have a little play around with that see if those scenarios are going to fit your requirements because it will save you a headache it's going to save you a lot of time having to dig into storage issues and things like that for specific sharepoint sites if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions at all about setting version history limits version control inside of sharepoint or anything else relating to the sharepoint or sharepoint admin center drop a comment in the um the, the comments box below.